Today we're going to be making this beautiful super textured star blanket. This blanket uses just two stitches, single crochets and bobble stitches, worked in a 42 stitch by 42 row repeat to make each of these stars that are then repeated throughout the blanket. I really love using bobble stitches for geometric designs like this because it's a really fun texture, but since we're still just using one color, it still comes across as simple and clean and not too busy. It also adds a lot of weight to your blanket, so it ends up super cozy when you're done. Before we get started, there are a few things you should know about this pattern. Throughout the tutorial, there will be written instructions across the top of the screen, and within those, you'll see a couple different abbreviations and symbols. So most of the abbreviations are probably familiar to you if you've crocheted before. We'll have CH for chain, SC for single crochet, SLST for slip stitch, and then B represents our bobble stitch. There are a couple variations of bobble stitches, and in this pattern, the stitch that we'll be doing is five double crochets together in the back loop only of the stitch. And we'll go over that slowly when we get to that stitch in the pattern. You'll also see some asterisks and brackets in the instructions, and those are used to signify sequences of stitches that will be repeated. In addition to the written instructions, there's a grid that you can follow along with. So in this grid, each little square represents one stitch in the 42 stitch by 42 row repeat that's used to make each of our stars. You'll see there are light squares and there are dark squares. The light squares represent single crochets and the dark squares represent bobble stitches. So you can use this grid to follow along as a more visual representation of your stitches as you're working through your blanket. The yarn I'm using is Bernat Handicrafter. It's a 100% cotton yarn and it's a medium weight. And the color that I'm using is called Robin Egg. I'll also be using my five millimeter H hook. And then I'll need a pair of scissors and also a yarn needle for weaving in the ends when we get to the end of our blanket. The amount of yarn that you need is going to depend on the size that you want your blanket to be. So I've included a formula over to the left to help you calculate how much yarn you'll need based on the size blanket that you want. The first step to make this blanket is to make the foundation chain. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot and placing it on my hook. And then I'm going to chain a multiple of 42 plus two more. And whatever multiple of 42 you use that's how many stars you're going to have going across your blanket. For the blanket that I made as a sample, I had three stars going across. So I used a multiple of three. So 42 times three plus two is 128. So that was the length of my foundation chain. For this video, I'm just going to make 44 chains. So I can give you an example of just one star. Once you have your chain, we'll start row one, and we'll start by making a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then we're going to single crochet in each chain across. And the total number of single crochets that you make is going to be one less than the number of chains that you made. So for me, that's going to be 43 single crochets. When you get to the end of your chain and finish row one, you can turn your work, chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in the very first stitch. So our chain does not count as a stitch. And we're going to single crochet all the way across for row two. So you can think of the chain and row one as our getting started rows. And then row two is where we start the sequence of 42 rows that are going to be repeated through the blanket to make each row of stars. I've finished row two and for rows three, four, and five, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I will chain one and single crochet in each stitch across. I'm 
I'm finishing up row five. And now for row six, we're going to introduce our bobble stitch for the first time. So our row will start like our previous rows with a chain one and then a single crochet in the very first stitch. And then you'll see we have some instructions in brackets. So that's going to be repeated across the row. And we'll start with 12 single crochets. And then we have one bobble stitch. So for the bobble stitch, we're going to be working in the back loop only. So if you look at your V, there's a front loop and a back loop, and we're going to be inserting our hook just in the back one here. So to make our stitch, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into that back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then yarn over, and pull through two loops. And now we have two loops on our hook and we're going to repeat that working into the same space. So yarn over, insert our hook into that same back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. We're going to do that a total of five times in that same space. So that was two times. Now we'll yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then again yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and now we've done that five times and we have one, two, three, four, five, six loops on your hook. That's how you can check to make sure you did it the right number of times if you lose count when you're making those stitches. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all six loops that are on our hook. And that's one bobble stitch. So after that, we have 15 more single crochets And then we have another bobble. So again, we'll be working into the back loop only. So I'll start with a yarn over and insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And one more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now I'll just double check. We have our six loops on the hook and I will yarn over, and pull through all six of those loops. So that's our second bobble. And now we have 13 more single crochets.
And that will bring me to the end of my row since I'm just making one star. But if you're making a whole blanket and you have more than 44 chains, you're going to repeat that entire sequence within the brackets across your blanket until you get to the end. For row seven, we're back to our single crochets. So I'm going to chain one and then single crochet in each stitch across. You'll notice that we're always going to have a row of just plain single crochets in between any row that includes bobble stitches. And that's to make sure that our bobble stitches all bubble out on the same side of our blanket. Now we're on to row eight, which is going to be another bobble row. And this is going to be the last row that we're going to work through together before I leave you to work through the rest of your blanket on your own, and then we'll meet up again for the border. So it starts like all our other rows, chain one, single crochet in the first stitch, and then you'll see we have 12 single crochets. And then after that, we're going to make a bobble and a single crochet and do that two times. So I will make a bobble stitch. And then a single crochet. And then I'm going to repeat that a second time. So another bobble stitch. And another single crochet. Next, we have 10 more single crochets. And then again, we're going to bobble single crochet two times. So I start with my bobble stitch. and then a single crochet, and then another bobble stitch, and another single crochet. And now to finish out that sequence that's within the brackets, we're going to single crochet 12. Now I'm at the end of my row 
and we've made it through the whole sequence in the brackets, so now you're going to repeat those instructions within the brackets all the way across until you get to the end of your row. And when you flip it over, you can see that the little corners of our star are starting to take shape. And as we work through, you'll see the whole star build up in bobbles. Now that we've gone through a few rows together and we know how to make the bobble stitches and we know how to follow the instructions, I'm going to leave you with the grid and the written instructions to work through the rest of your stars. And then once you've finished all that, we'll come back and meet again to go over the border and the finishing touches. After you've made all your stars, we're going to finish off our blanket with a simple single crochet border. So it's nothing fancy, it's just one row of single crochets around to clean up our edges and make everything nice and clean. So to start, I'm going to make a chain and then I'm going to rotate my blanket and then just start working right down the side of my blanket. And I'll be inserting my hook into the sides of my stitches and I'm going to make one single crochet in the side of each row going down my blanket. When you get to the bottom of the blanket, you're going to make two single crochets in that last row. And the second single crochet is to form the corner to bring you around to start working across the bottom of your blanket. For the bottom edge of the border, it's going to be similar to the side where we're working single crochets evenly across, but now instead of working into the sides of our rows, we're going to be working into the bottom of what was our foundation chain. So we'll make one single crochet in the bottom of each chain. At the next corner, I'm again going to make two single crochets in that last space so that I can form the corner. And then I'll turn and start working up the next side of the blanket. So since we're working up the side again, we're going to be making our single crochets into the side of each row. So one single crochet in the side of every row.
When you make it back to the top of your blanket, you'll make two single crochets in the last row to make our corner. And then we'll be working across the top of our blanket. So we'll make one single crochet in each stitch going across. In the last stitch, I'm going to make two single crochets to form our last corner. And then I'm going to join to the first stitch of the border with a slip stitch. And that will finish off our single crochet border. If you'd like, you could make a thicker border by continuing to work single crochets around the edges. And to do that, you'll just work one single crochet in each stitch, except at the corners, you'll do three single crochets in each corner. I'm just doing the one row of single crochets for my border. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my ends, leaving a tail so that I can weave it in. And then I'm going to open up my loop and pull the tail through to tie off. Now I'm going to sew in my tail. So I'm going to thread my yarn needle and then I'm going to take my needle and put it underneath the stitches on the edge of my blanket. So I can pull the tail through and then I'm going to go back and forth a couple times and then once you're sure your tail isn't going to go anywhere you can pull it really tight and cut right up against your blanket Now our blanket is pretty much complete. One last optional step that I'm going to do is I'm going to block the blanket. So I'm essentially just going to lay it out on a flat surface, pin the edges down, and then go over it with a handheld steamer. And that helps make the edges really clean and straight. And then if you want, I know I have some extra yarn. If you have extra yarn, you could add tassels to this. I think that would be really cute on this blanket. Still TBD if I'm going to add tassels on mine or not. But once you're done with all those finishing touches, your blanket is done and ready to go and you can just enjoy your blanket. Thank you guys for watching and for crocheting with me today.